Hi, I'm QDC. What we're going to build today is Tamiya's World War II Imperial Japanese Navy fighter pilot. The reason why I bought this particular kit was because I never knew that Tamiya made large scale figure uh, model kits. This particular kit is a 1 scale and I was curious about it when I first discovered it. So I bought it and so uh, right now I just want to uh, just build it. So let's go ahead and start. Let's go take a look inside this box. There isn't many parts in this kit. You get the body, the arms, the feet, the face, and a clear plastic base. After I glued the two halves together, there's a very small thin bead that appears and I'm going to scrape that off with the back end of my hobby knife. One thing cool about this Tamiya kit is that you have a choice between choosing your figure to have folding arms or having your figure holding a sword, a katana. I'm going to have my figure hold a katana. All right, this is the completed model kit before painting. What I like about the best is that this kit allows you to choose between either having him hold, uh, folding his arms or having carrying the katana, the sword. A very good option. And this kit has no problems whatsoever. Very easy to assemble and the results are fabulous. Very well detailed and no problems whatsoever. It's time for me to paint my model kit and I'm not going to use enamel spray paints so that means that I'm not going to use a ventilation hood. So I'm going to use my airbrush and use acrylic paint instead and I'm going to paint my model black to give shadows. This pilot is wearing mostly a brown uniform, so I'm going to use my airbrush and paint the entire model brown. Now I'm going to hand paint my entire model. After painting the entire model, it's time for me to accentuate the details. Um, and I'm going to start off with the brown uniform right here. What you see right here is a, um, a light color of the brown and I'm going to use a dry brushing technique in which I should take some of the paint, brush most of the paint off my brush, and then what's remaining paint I'm going to carefully lightly um, put it onto the uniform to accentuate the highlights. What I just done was I gave the entire model a white tint 
to blend all the colors together. Now I'm going to give it some shadows and I'm going to do pin washing to do that. Pin washing is just basically giving a dark diluted color in mineral spirits and I'm just going to let that mineral spirits uh, flow through all the crevices. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to paint the eyes. Um, I don't paint the eyes looking straight forward because from experience it just looks weird. So I'm going to make my figure look to the side as I paint the eyeballs. Now I'm going to start painting the face. Um, I'm going to tone down the texture of the face and also give it some light shadows by giving a wash of a darker uh, skin tone. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, add some dark shadows on the face. So I'm going to put those dark shadows on the lip and on the eyebrows and underneath the nose. Now I'm going to add some highlights onto the face. I'm going to add um, highlights onto the nose, the forehead, and the chin, and the cheeks. And I'll blend it together. I just completed um, the model kit and I want to show you my results. Take a look. So this is it. This is my finished model kit from start to finish. And as you can all see, it looks good. Um, not the best, but it looks good. And the kit included some stickers, not decal stickers, to put insignia on the guy's arm. But since there were stickers, it didn't look cool. It didn't look real, so I didn't put that on there. I've added a wooden base. And I didn't put any ground material on there to make it into a diorama, mostly because um, the, ma the base looks so handsome. I just didn't want, I just didn't want to add one in there. And um, it looks good. That completes this um, model kit from start to finish. This was a very easy kit to build, but the biggest challenge is really just to paint it. Um, the methods that I use to paint this kit um, is not really the best way to do it. Um, I know how to actually make uh, to paint this figure better, but I decided not to, uh, mostly because by using more uh, traditional methods to paint my kit, it'll take more time, and um, I'm not that I'll be losing interest in actually painting the figure, because most of my um, passion is really just to make vehicles, not actual figure itself. So what you're about to see next is um, a video slideshow of my entire um, model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this um, video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a expert at model kit building. I'm not an expert, honestly. So I hope this uh, video encouraged you to build a model kit of your own. Either it's a model plane, a model figure, a model train, or a model ship, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching and have a great day.